Hey bird nerds and welcome back to episode 3 of Bird Song Lessons with Lucy Lapwing. Now, two previous episodes have covered two iconic songsters, uh, the gorgeous blackbird that we all know with his deep melancholy whistle um, and the red-breasted robin off of Christmas with that really sweet angelic song. So if you've not checked those out, please do go back and have a look. And as always, if you take a look at my introduction video, that just has some tips and advice on some apps and some websites and just some little hints that I have when you're dipping your toe into the world of learning birdsong. Now today's songster is again iconic. It is one of the most numerous birds in Britain, but it might be one that you don't actually see that much. It is of course the wren. Jenny wren as people know it. One of the smallest birds we've got in the UK. It's got a stumpy little butt and tail that sticks up. It always looks grumpy and you might not notice it because it tends to skulk around in the undergrowth. Now wrens have one of the most amazing songs. They actually hold a crown title when it comes to the world of bird song. Now, as we know, they're absolutely tiny, but they do actually have the most decibels per gram of any British bird. So you're probably going to guess that volume is one of the factors to listen out for when identifying the song of the wren. So without further ado, let's get listening and see how we can pick apart the song of Troglodytes, Troglodytes, best Latin name ever, uh, the wren and how to identify it. Okay, as always, thanks again, Tony Whitehead, for letting me use your music. Let's get stuck in. So that's just one little loop there of the song. Listen once more. And we'll just hit pause. So when you hear a wren, if you're anywhere near it, the first thing that you will you think of, the first impression you get of that wren it's, oh my God, that's loud. For such a tiny little bird, the volume that bursts out of it is absolutely incredible. So if you hear a song burst from a bush, it can quite often be a wren. Okay, after volume, tip number two when identifying a song of a wren is to listen for a very specific bit of the structure of the song. Now, in some parts, the tone of it can sound a little bit similar to a robin, and in other parts, it can sound a little bit similar to a dunnock, which we'll cover later in the series. Um, but there's a structure in the song, and if you hear that, you know you are, without a doubt, dealing with a wren. So if we listen again. I will point it out on the screen. That bit there. So that's what I describe as the rattle. It's that little bit in the middle of the song. It's like a little, um, a little rattly trill. Um, some people have the image to remember it of a wren holding a tiny little machine gun. So in the middle of the song, I'm going to try and demonstrate this. <laughs> it like shoots its little gun, so it's like in the middle, um, which is one way of remembering it. The way I remember it is to imagine that that wren is a tiny little wind up toy. So you set that toy in the palm of your hand, you wind it up, you wind it up, you wind it up, right to the absolute brink. And then you set it down and let it go off. So if you imagine that tiny little wren has got to deal with all of this volume coming out and it can't quite cope with it and it loses control. So it sings, gets too loud for itself and then kind of rattles and shakes away. So if we listen again. There you go. It's like, oh, I'm too loud for myself. Um, and that's how I remember it. It's just a really nice visual. So if you can pick out that rattle, whether it's a machine gun or whether it's a little toy losing control, that's the iconic thing when you're dealing with a wren. And one of the best things about them is the chain reaction. Um, so if you hear one wren singing, that song will often cause another wren in a neighbouring territory to kick off. So you can hear this kind of fizz exploding where it goes one mm. wren and then another one oh. further away and another one further oh. away. And so they kind of carry on and you can follow this train of wrens through the bush. Um, once you pick up on it, it's really, really good to listen to. So that is it, the song of Troglodytes, Troglodytes, the gorgeous wren. Um, hopefully those tips will help you identify it when you're out in the bush. I've heard wrens singing within the last couple of weeks in January, so they're definitely already making a racket. Um, so get out there and see if you can identify it. Um, as I've mentioned previously, it's really handy if you can set it as a ringtone or a text tone when you're trying to use that song. So um, you can download songs for free on Xena Canto if you just take a look at the licensing rules. Um, and set them on your phone and you're well on your way to learning them. And as always, I'm really keen to hear your descriptions. How do you remember a wren? Is it a tiny machine gun? Is it some other weird, obscure weapon? I don't know why they have to have weapon. Um, please let me know in the comments and also any questions, anything you'd like to see, let me know in there as well. Um, and do subscribe if you wanted to follow on this journey of learning some British birdsong throughout spring. Thanks very much for watching and see you soon.